In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. We celebrate the 24th Sunday in ordinary time. My brothers and sisters, we place our trust in the Lord who gives life and sustains us. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, by your name we are saved. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, by your might we are defended. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, by your grace we are sustained. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of good goodwill. Will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, Creator and Ruler of all things, and that we may feel the waking of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let that man confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Seized upon me, I fell in. 
A reading from the letter of St. James. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister has nothing to wear and has no food for the day, and one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm, and eat well, but you do not give him the necessities of the body, what good is it? So also faith of itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Indeed, someone might say, you have faith and I have works. Demonstrate your faith to me without works, and I will demonstrate my faith to you from my works. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea Philippi. Along the way, he asked his disciples, who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the prophets. And he asked them, but who do you say that I am? Peter said to him in reply, you are the Christ. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him at this, he turned around, looking at the disciples, rebuked Peter, and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. He summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, we joined the whole church to celebrate the 24th Sunday of ERB. During the celebration of the Holy Mass, we place ourselves before God as we worship, honor, and glorify Him in our good words, thoughts, and actions. We are His children, and He is our God. In today's responsorial psalm, we responded, I walk in the Lord in the land of the living. The psalmist confirms that the nature of God who is always faithful to his, to him and his people. The psalmist has experienced the faithfulness of God as he says, I love the Lord because he has heard my voice in supplication, because he has inclined his ear to, to me the day I called. Gracious is the Lord and just, yes, our God is merciful. The Lord keeps the little ones. I was brought low, and he saved me. The experience of the psalmist is also supported in the prophecy in the first reading from Isaiah in the passage known as the suffering servant. The prophet writes, the Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, 
let, me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let that man confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The suffering servant who knows his total dependence in God, he recognizes that there is only one to rely for protection, and this is the Lord God. In today's second reading, James writes to his, audi to his audience that our true relationship with God is manifested not only through our pro proclamation of faith in God by our lips, but together with our actions. God, God's love to us is fully translated to us through tangible works of creation, redemption, and sanctification. In today's gospel reading, Jesus challenges his disciples by asking them of his identity. Who do people say that I am? And then, but who do you say that I am? Peter said to him in reply, you are the Christ. This verbal profession of the faith is not complete in itself. Jesus walks his disciples into what it means to be a follower of Christ. He tells them Christ will be rejected, will suffer and die and rise up on the third day. Also, those who want to be part of him have to translate their faith into actions. Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. Following Christ is a journey which invites us to, ra to raise our heads above the steering waters, above the odds. The suffering servants in the first reading, the psalmist, the teachings of James in the second reading, as well as the teachings of Jesus in the gospel reading, inform us that being of Christ, being of God, is a special invitation. It will put us in the afflictions of the world and place us in the lowly positions. Jesus puts the invitation in a very clear wording that we need to deny ourself, ourselves, carry our crosses and follow him. What is the cross to carry in our today's life? As homebounds, we experience that the quality of our life which we have now is not that which we worked hard throughout our life to build. We experience physical and emotional limitations. We carry unending pains. Now we find that many of what we achieved in life are no longer with us. But as people who built up personal relationship with God, even in the midst of pains and limitations, we join the psalmist to say, I love the Lord because he has heard my voice in supplication. We know and believe that it is through carrying our own crosses that we can follow Christ who carried his to eternal victory in Calvary. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of, of heaven, heaven and, and earth, earth, of all, all things, things visible, visible and invisible, and invisible. I believe, I believe in, in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified at Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again into glory, judging the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the, the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I, I believe, believe in one holy, holy Catholic, Catholic and Apostolic Church, 
I confess my one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, sins and, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life, and life of the, of the world, world to come. To come. Amen. Amen. To the God of mercy and reconciliation, let us lift up our hearts and voices in prayer. That those who serve our church as bishops, priests, pastors, and teachers may proclaim the gospel with courage, integrity, and perseverance, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the laws and public policies of the world's governments and nations may be dedicated to serving the common good, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those people, our churches, who are persecuted for their faith and beliefs may perse persevere in the hope that the peace and justice of God will one day reign, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faith we profess may find expression in our care for others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that more young people may answer the call to the vocation to the priesthood and religious life for the future of our diocese. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died in Christ's peace may walk forever in the presence of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, hear the prayers we lift up to you. Give us the courage and the generosity to take up our crosses and follow Christ so that we may bring his new life and liberation to our world. We offer these prayers in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Amen. my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in you as may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor on our supplication, O Lord, and in our kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may save the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashion for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. We celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, your Pope, and Robert, your Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to say to your apostles, peace I leave with my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the waking of this heavenly gift, O oh Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effect and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.